this tutorial, you'll see how to log in and use the JumpCloud user portal. You can log in to the JumpCloud user portal at console.jumpcloud.com using your email address and JumpCloud password. If multi-factor authentication is required by your IT administrator and you have already successfully enrolled, you'll be prompted for MFA to successfully log in. If you need to enroll in MFA and aren't sure how, check out the JumpCloud University course for end users. Once logged in, you'll see any applications you've been given access to. Simply click the desired application for single sign-on access. For bookmarked applications, you may be asked for your login credentials. In the Profile tab on the left, you can change your first and last name along with any of your personal or employment information. Note, you cannot change your username or any resource bindings. Manage your account security in the Security tab on the left. From here, you can reset your JumpCloud password at any time via the Reset Password option. You can also manage multi-factor authentication depending on your administrative requirements. You can set up or reset multi-factor authentication for TOTP or register security tokens including physical security keys and built-in sensors on your device, if applicable. Check with your IT administrator if you have any questions about your organization's MFA requirements. If you're a Linux user, you can add and store your SSH keys within the JumpCloud user portal in the top right. Optionally, you may see a JumpCloud agent pane which allows new hires or existing employees to install the JumpCloud agent on your device from a remote location. Simply select your operating system and follow the instructions for installation. Check out the JumpCloud University course for end users or our knowledge base for more information and details about the user portal.